What's going on you guys? So Rafe DeRozzi here and I just finished my workout and today was back day. So essentially what I did was I got up this morning, I got ready, took Duke out, let him do his business and then I went straight to the gym. I hadn't eaten anything and I did a, a full hard as I could, balls to the walls, back workout. And then after I finished that, I did 25 minutes on the treadmill, no food, no drink, except for um, my pre-workout and then my BCAAs that I take during every workout. And now I'm home and I'm gonna take my protein, which I do every day after my workout. The goal is to take that within 30 minutes after my workout. That's the best time frame that you have where your body really is gonna utilize it to the max. Duke, of course, happy to see me, huh, Bobo? A huh, good boy. I know I've done a, a video before of the different supplements I, I've taken. I did that in the form of a like holiday gift idea video, but I still get a lot of questions from a lot of people asking what do I take on a daily basis? So let's do that today. Had to live and cry to appreciate life and what you give is what One thing I forgot to mention, with my protein, I like to eat some kind of simple carb, hopefully something healthy. So I go with a banana and um, Duke also likes it too. So it works out. Satisfied, stayed over the surface. Now I just can't get enough. You make me feel good like no other. I just want everyone to see what I've discovered. And when I'm with you, I go higher. Okay, so let's jump right in. So when people come to me and they say, Rafe, I really want to get into working out, bodybuilding. What supplements do you recommend? What should I start taking? And my number one go-to always is some sort of protein, whether that's whey protein or vegan protein. I'm gonna say right off the bat that a lot of the supplements that I'm taking are by gym. That is not necessarily because they are the best and only brand that you should be taking, but it's simply a, a result of the fact that when I compete, I hire a coach. My coach recommended these supplements to me. He wanted me on these supplements. I liked them. I like um, Jim Stepani. This is his brand, Jim, J-Y-M. And I like what he stands for. And the fact that part of his brand is being transparent in what ingredients are in here and not using fillers and stuff like that and just gimmicky kind of things. It's all about um, having quality ingredients and being transparent about what those ingredients are. There are plenty of other brands that are just as great, good quality, maybe even cheaper. So, protein. That's the staple, that's your basic, that's what you wanna start with. It'll help you get more calories, it'll help you get more protein in general, it'll help you with your muscle building when you start out. Okay, to start, I have this handy little pill pack organizer. Uh, you can get it at your local CVS, drugstore, grocery store, stuff like that. Every day I fill this up with all my supplements for the day, so. Starting out with this guy here, this is gonna be my creatine and my ZMA. That's the first thing I take in the morning before I start my workout. That's this guy here. And ZMA. Those two guys, pre-workout. And then, then I take my pre-workout. So, my pre-workout. This guy's a whopper, folks. I mean, if you're sensitive to caffeine, stay away from this guy. Or take a half a dose or even a quarter dose feel it out. This guy right here has 300 whopping milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot of caffeine, especially if you're not used to it, don't have tolerance. The aminos that I'm currently taking right now are these guys right here. That's by Evolution. They're BCAAs. So I fill the BCAAs in here with water. Um, the goal is to drink half of this to all of it during my workout. And then if I don't finish it, then I want to finish that throughout the day. So that's a good amount of water. It's important to stay hydrated. As I said in the intro, as soon as I'm done with my workout, I am taking my whey protein right here. Pro Gym. Got it in my shaker. That's going to be prepped first thing in the morning too. Also, after my workout, usually right after I have my protein and my banana, I whip out this guy right here. This is Jim's post workout formula and it's all geared towards helping you recover post workout in the most efficient way possible and then with lunch that's when i'm going to move on to the next section of my pill pack here 
So in this little cubby right here, I've got my Jim Omegas. That's gonna be your fish oil, really good quality in this guy here, so I love that. I take a natural herbal uh, testosterone booster, estrogen blocker, reducer. So because I'm natural, I don't take steroids, no growth hormone, no insulin, stuff like that. So um, I've turned to natural herbal supplements like that. I can't say for certain how effective herbal testosterone is. There's a lot of debate that goes back and forth about it. I don't recommend that to the average day-to-day -day, um, person who goes to the gym or is trying to build muscle. For me, since I compete, every small amount of an advantage that I can give myself, I'll take it because when it comes to stage, it, I mean, it's so close when, between you and the other competitors. So that's just something for me specifically that's important. Also, I'm taking this B complex. Um, I was having a lot of issues with just being drained and not feeling quite right. And my GM at work was like, he used to be a professional swimmer and he had the same issue. And when he started taking B complex, it really helped him just kind of not die on a day to day basis. And that's always a good thing. So that's why I take it. And then I also take glucosamine. Glucosamine is great for joint health and that's it for lunch. And then, so I go about my day and then by the time dinner comes around, then I'm ready for that again. So again, moving on to the next cubby there, it's gonna be the same. The only thing that's different for this one is I'm taking my multivitamin. The reason why I take my multivitamin at night is because I am taking my ZMA in the morning because there are ingredients in both that conflict and keep my body from being able to absorb one another. So I gotta keep them separate on opposite ends of the day. And so yeah, that is my lineup right now. It might change, it could change tomorrow, it might not change for another year, I don't know. But that's what I'm taking and it works really well for me. I'm happy about it. On that note, I've been very fortunate enough to pair up with AHF on this video and they took me to one of their pharmacies and I had no idea, but their pharmacies are pretty awesome because they have a full array of supplements there. It's open to the public. It's anybody can come in, anybody can take advantage of it. They had so many awesome products there, including C4, which is the pre-workout that I, I actually started working out with. It's awesome, I love the flavor, it works really well, it's a good price, they have that there. They also have Optimum Nutrition Whey Protein. It's a really well-respected quality brand in the fitness bodybuilding community. They have creatine there as well. They've got Quest Bars, they've got Oh Yeah One Bars, they've got the Complete Cookie, which is a, a great like protein-filled cookie that's great for like satiating your desire for a treat but still staying on diet. They've also got Isopure Protein, which is like a designer whey protein that's just a little bit more efficient for the body to be able to absorb. It's a little more expensive, but I'm, they, they got so much there. And so I shot some footage for you guys, so stick around and check it out because it's really awesome. If you have it in your area, you definitely have to take advantage of it. This right here, one of my favorite protein bars, by far, hands down, for taste and texture, is these Oh Yeah One Bars. So good. And Blueberry Cobbler is my favorite flavor. And they have like more here than I've seen at any other, like more than GNC, more variety. This is awesome. And then when I'm competing, my coach doesn't let me have Oh Yeah One because I guess there are certain ingredients that aren't as good as Quest. So when I gotta do Quest, there's even Quest bars here. Microwave those babies for like 30 seconds and mm, that's dessert right there. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, your exquisite kiss still burning. And they even have a bang energy drinks here. Check this out. Oh, so good, so much energy. You can drink this as a pre-workout or just as an energy drink, but these guys are freaking awesome. They taste great. Never had it, definitely try it. 
And by the way, so everything here is whatever you purchase is you make 96 cents for every dollar goes back into HIV AIDS services. So, I mean, they're not trying to make a profit here. They're really using all the money that they get from sales here to go right back into helping with HIV AIDS services. That's really awesome. Guys, that wraps up my video on my supplements for bodybuilding and fitness. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm sure you do, and I will do my best to answer them, maybe in a follow-up blog as well. And if anything changes as far as what I'm taking, I'll be sure to update you guys with a another video in the future. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something from it. I hope if you are just starting out with fitness or bodybuilding and you weren't sure really where to start, I hope the whey protein is a good guide for you to start out on that, and then you can kind of build from there as you learn more. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate all of your guys' support. And stay tuned because as always, I've got a lot more great content coming for you.